Stephen James. Stephen James, you've been pulled to the ground. Yes. And you just want to walk your dog, right? Yes, sir. Just come towards me and we're just going to go into a sit here. Steve. You do auto sits? Sit. Okay, good. There. So good sit. Good sit. Good, good boy. I want you to flash in this really quick. Sit. So this is exactly what we were talking about, right? Let's talk about currency. 10 is the cream of the crop, biggest distraction. Maybe that's another dog. This is a this is five, six. So we say, hey, I want you to sit. I want you to do this for me, right? Forget the sit. I want you to do this for me. Five comes around. What's that? Same thing as Lexi. So a correct show, we talk about enforcement. Right. And again, it's hard to get granule on like exactly certain things, but talk about enforcement. Um, the dog just has to care. But the moment he gets up, you're correcting him. Okay. Because the timing isn't, because by the time he's up and she figures it out, it's too late. Because timing, because then you're correcting him for standing. Uh, 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 Steven. That's exactly what we're talking about, right? So we get into a situation where he's like, yeah, but that's enforcement. And I'm not, <clears throat> uh, it's, it's tough, you know, with uh, the politics in the world but it's like clear as day here. Like, yeah, we could, we could avoid, we can draw back and recall, but the reality is, is right now, this dog is pushing through what we asked the dog to do and they know the behavior because there's a currency and the correction or the enforcement is not enough, right? So when we talk about enforcement, um, it's really a simple thing, right? So when we talk about law enforcement officers, what do they do? They enforce the laws that were made by, you know, the government or whatever, right? So if it's a 70 mile per hour or whatever you guys do, uh, whatever, yeah, kilometers. I'm like going down the highway, I says, that says 110, you want me to go 110? Like, that's like super fast. I had to like check myself there for I'm like, that can't be right. So, but my point is, is you go, you know, you go over the speed limit by 40 miles per hour, there's somebody that's gonna pull you over and enforce that. They're gonna write you, they're gonna stress you out. Oh, I'm getting, it's a, it's a stressful thing. It can ruin your day, it can ruin your week, right? It's a lot for some people. So that enforcement, you're like, you're gonna think about that next time you go over that speed limit, right? So think about it like that. You're in, what are you enforcing? So again, when we, your obedience is great. It looks like your relationship is also great. But what they're missing is that enforcement that once the dog says like, I'm going to do this, you don't exist. And that was perfect. We got like, okay, okay. And we get dragged over. So I'm gonna give you the slip. I want you to put this on high and tight. We're just gonna start working on different tools to see what changes it makes. Sit. Good. Good. Good, dude, that was better timing. That mattered a little bit more. You're gonna hang out right there. We didn't get like, yeah, okay, we got, oh, what was that? That was good, that's progress. <laughs> okay, um, turn and face me completely. Good. Better. Good. Hey. Good. Thank you. Good pay, you yes, verbally, verbally. Good, boy. good, good, break. Beautiful. Break. So you talked a little bit about this earlier, about randomizing yeah, things. It. So at that point, I would have equal or greater reward on me to be paying the dog so they learn. I'm like, well, I'm just gonna listen to this person because this, I get it anyway. And it's kind of pertaining to what you were saying earlier about like randomizing things and making sure like, when are we, when are we vocalizing and when are we paying and when do you get rid of the payment? And so <clears throat> I'm gonna do it again. Break, good. break to me. Break? To me, to me, to me, oh, to me, to me. To me. Pay him, pay him, pay him. Good, break out. Break. Really good. Throw the leash behind you. Yeah. Like, let go? Yes. Yep. And then you're gonna walk towards me. Heel. Heel. Good, and keep, keep walking. Good. Keep walking. So how are you gonna keep him in the position? That's what I want you to work on is your body. Oh. I wanted you to drop the leash so you're not so focused on the leash because I think you're putting 40% of your stuff in here. You're just hanging on to him with this. Don't try to control. I want you to control him with your body is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Because your part of handling an animal is also just using your body. So use your inside turns. So if he's forging, you're t turning with your leg. Yeah, he's running into your leg. That's what I want you to practice. So see he's forging here Yeah. because he wants food. So use your leg, cut him off, but also you can straighten him back out by changing positions. Good. You need that really quick step there. Good. But see how he's, he's, he's better there on this. I can just do like fancy stuff there. So look where he's at. Yes. Okay. 
he's always in front of you. Yes. So you need to use your body to communicate where you want him. You can also use your leash just a bit to kind of like give him a little power steering. You can pull him back a little bit, but watch his, watch the leash here, okay? And watch where his, watch where his body is. So I'm here. Perfect. Okay, absolutely perfect. Heel. If I feel him forge, I want you to use your leash less. Okay. He's forging here. Correct him back out. A little bit of leash pressure here. Ah, ah, good. So I want you to just practice handling with your body to move him around a little bit more. So you don't have to use your leash. I think if you take away your main source of communication, it helps you teach the dog in other ways. Your body is so important, it's such an important piece. And if you can, if not manipulate, but if you can yep. maneuver and teach a dog to, to work off your body, and some dogs will make you look better than others. He's in between. Sometimes he's on, sometimes he's not. But I just try to take away like, okay, say you, yep. say, um, you can't talk anymore. How are you gonna communicate? It'll help you become a better communicator that way. So it's just something creative and fun that I'm noticing with these guys okay. is like 40% of her attention is on the leash. Not necessarily she's using it 40 or 50 or 60% of the time. You can just tell she's always like, and, and everyone is, right? So I'm like, hey, take away the leash, Good. then what can you do? And that's where I think the relationship and the communication will, it has to get better. Because if you don't, your dog's gonna run away. Good heel. Isn't that nice? I love this. So cute. Heel. Good. Good. So try not to use your leash at all. That's why I kind of had you drop it, but he's he's kind of flighty, so let's not do okay. that. Good. Steve, heel. There. How, so okay. what do I what do? Would you do? What would you do? I would do this. Okay, don't, but don't. Move forward, tap your side. Steve, heel. Nope, on your side, like on your left side where you want him. Steve, he's heel. a freebie. Good, okay, we'll do that again. So whenever he puts on the brakes like that, yep. I want you to figure out how to turn him around and or move him out of the way. So there's two things that you can do. If he leans down and he completely disengages with you, you can push him away with your body and he'll roll over okay. it. Well, he should. If he's anything like Lexi, he won't. Good, good heel. Good, so see how like focusing more on where your body is with him will help him yeah. walk with you. Because I feel like so many people put so much pressure on the leash and the leash is the easiest thing oh, to control it. a dog but then what if I said like okay no leash then what yep. then you have to become really good at handling right God. your timing your energy your body your movement I think I had like a uh, life grip because yeah of, that's what I mean of I felt him that. lunging like, oh yes yeah. I felt that and that's why I wanted to take that away but how this is amazing yeah yeah it's a lot easier I know I love this I'm so glad I came. Good. We're gonna have so much fun. We're See, gonna it makes walk. Makes the whole trip worth it. Because your relationship with your dog, you know, every day you're gonna wake up and have a better relationship. And even if I came and just you came, I'd it'd be totally worth it. Mm -hmm.